Elsewhere, court records show that the suspect in the shooting in the Minneapolis area that killed three first responders over the weekend was not legally allowed to have guns. The suspect was also entangled in a years-long dispute over custody and financial support of his three oldest children. ABC's Alex Perez has the latest. Tonight, terrifying police scanner audio describing the harrowing scene in that Minnesota neighborhood where two officers and a firefighter paramedic were gunned down while responding to a domestic incident. He's refusing to come out. There's still seven kids inside the residence to access to multiple firearms, including handguns and rifles. Police called to Burnsville, just south of Minneapolis, around 2 a.m. Sunday. A man barricading himself inside this home, holding his wife and seven children hostage for hours and opening fire on first responders. Heavy rifle fire. I don't want any officer being clear line of sight without cover. Officers heard trying to locate the gunman. Where are the shots coming from? Can we really see? Both top windows. He's moving left and right. Even taking up positions in nearby homes. Our setup in the house directly across the street. And we have eyes on the entire front. During the hours long standoff, three first responders losing their lives. Burnsville police officer Paul Elmstrand and Matthew Rugi and firefighter paramedic Adam Finseth. The community shattered residents holding a vigil Sunday honoring the fallen officers. They paid the ultimate sacrifice. For all of us. And the mayor of Burnsville confirms uh, that suspect, now identified as 38-year-old Shannon Gooden, died by suicide. Authorities say his family, including those children, were thankfully uninjured. Alex Perez, ABC News, Chicago.